Good morning, everybody. Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, I'm doing actually okay. Um, had a heck of a fibro flare here the last few days, and it's been kind of rough, but we're getting there. Uh, today I'm going to share with you Chapter 8 of my story. And instead of going back over um, some of the stuff that we have went through already, which is, um, you know, the paperwork, the denial, the fear, um, I'm going to touch on a subject today that I hope does not trigger anybody. And the subject is one that a lot of people like to think of as taboo. Well, I should say used to think of as taboo. And now there seems to be a little bit more understanding about what it is, and that is depression. Um, I was actually, um, I've had depression for a long, long time, okay? But something like this event that happened in my life pretty much threw me over the edge. So what we're going to do today is we're going to start out um, with some gesso. And, of course, depression has one main color. And that is black. Oh, that looks almost gray. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to get rid of this pretty happy flower stuff. Not that I'm a pretty happy flowery type of person. Um, but this is going to go bye-bye. So the first thing we're going to do is throw some gesso down. All right. Now, a lot of people in the past did not understand depression. And it was, um, there was a... You know, people would say, well, you know, snap out of it. You don't have anything to be depressed about. You got a good job. You got a good life. Blah, 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 blah. All right, it doesn't happen that way. Depression is a chemical imbalance in the brain. And um, it is not something you can snap out of. That d d just does not happen that way. And I'm going to try to explain to those of you who've never dealt with it what it feels like and what it what it looks like from someone that has depression's point of view okay I can tell you it's not a nice place to be emotionally mentally um, I can tell you it's a very 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 scary place to be uh, it's not it's no fun let me tell you it's um, very very difficult I'm not gonna be able to get that down in there without that's all right. I don't need to look at that part of it. So, you know, there there is no such thing as snapping out of depression. You do need to normally seek help, um, whether it be in the help of a counselor or it could be the help of a medication to help balance the chemicals in the brain that's causing the depression. Um, yeah, you know, if, if you've lost someone recently or something of that nature yeah that's that kind of depression also but this is a clinical depression and clinical depression like I said is a chemical imbalance um, you know everybody yeah everybody gets sad sometimes there's a big difference it's huge so if you have somebody um, in your home that you know you're having they have depression or you have depression um, you really need to get some help for it because Depression can lead, uh, lead to very bad thoughts, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So we're here with my story, and, you know, as far as my back injury and what's going on, it stays the same for a couple of years. <laughs> and I'm not going to go through the whole, you know, this many years. I really don't want to put this in my water, but you know what? It's going to have to. Um... We're going to talk about where I'm at, what's going on as far as medically, but first I'm going to dry this up, try to get rid of that glare. I'm sorry I have my overhead lights on because it's actually still dark outside, and it's in the morning and it's early, and I'm usually not up this early, so bear with me. I'll be right back. All right, so this is pretty well dry, but what I'm going to do now is I saw this um, idea Robin Mead I believe it was her YouTube channel that I saw this and I want to try this um, she took a piece of regular home aluminum foil she was actually making a box I don't want to make a box I want to make part of a page so I'm going to move this over for a second 
Okay. And she crunched up her aluminum foil kind of on this line. Um, the way she explained it is if you put it in a ball, it's way too hard to get back out of the ball. So you just kind of got to crunch it like this. Yeah, I mean, you can do that to it too. So, but I really like this idea. And what I was thinking is I am going to, where's my brayer? There we go. And then you just flatten it back out. Some places I got real thick, so we're going to just kind of and then back out a little bit. This just looked like fun to me, so I thought it'd be fun, fun time and place to play with this. So where are we at? Um, you know, I'm still going through the same range of emotions. Oh my God, what's going to happen if this is? Oh, put this down a little bit. You know, what's going to happen if this is permanent? You know, how am I going to pay my bills? Blah, 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 blah. The whole. Oh my God, what am I going to do? Syndrome, okay? Yeah, I like that. That's cool. I can't wait to see what this does. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with that black gesso, which I should have kept my brush out. I knew it, but that's all right. And I'm going to paint this up. So I've actually went, and at this point I've had another MRI done. It was done of my entire spine. Um, because the surgeon wanted to see if I had injured possibly, you know, further up on my spine because of all the pain that I'm experiencing. And we found out that no, I did not injure up above. However, we did find out I do have arthritis in my spine and I have um, a cup, another herniated disc in my neck. So luckily, only a couple times of my arms went numb. Um, but it's all good you know right now I'm, I'm not worried about that so we've got that done and at that point he said to me you're you cannot go back you cannot go back to your old job you just can't do it you can't physically do it anymore so what did that do that message right then and there threw me into this place which is this big ugly black hole Okay. Depression feels like you're empty. It feels like you have no emotions whatsoever. None. I gotta put these up. It's starting to bug me. Um, you feel completely. Um, that's the word I'm looking for. Empty. Just so empty. You have nothing looks good to you. You 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 look at the sun, it's like, yeah. You know, you maybe have a couple dollars in your checking account, you're like, yeah, whatever. It means nothing. Um, it's very hard to see anything at all in a positive light. And I'm I'm not talking about, you know. I don't know how to explain it. I'm, tr I'm trying my best way to explain it. You feel completely empty. You compl feel completely void of all emotion. Um, it's not that you're s just sad, per se. It's that you're empty. You have no... There's no way to... You can't snap out of it. It doesn't work that way. Um... It's difficult. It's very, very difficult to. It's difficult to want to wake up in the morning. You wake up in the morning and it feels like you have this huge, huge, huge black cloud over your head and it just is pushing you down and down and down and down and you go into this, this black pit. Um, you lose interest in everything and when I say everything I mean everything your entire life you could care less you're you know do you eat doesn't matter do you you know shower doesn't matter you completely lose your self-care you lose yourself in this pit 
it's like your soul gets eaten. I, I, I'm trying the best way I know how. This is what I feel when I have depression, okay? Um, like I said, self-care, mm, not interested in it. Um, you're not interested in, you know, your family, your, your life. Your life just takes a complete back burner and you have no desire for anything. So when I heard that um, there was nothing more he could do, that it was going to have to go to a pain management specialist and I was going to live with it for the rest of my life, I started into this hole. Let me dry this up and I'll be right back. All right, this isn't quite dry, but that's okay. I'm moving on because I want to. Um, so my surgeon said to me, you know, this is it. This is, you know, you're going to have to deal with this. And, you know, maybe we can get you into pain management and figure out how to help you um, handle the pain a little bit better. So the next step was injections. Well, we did that route. We, we you know, of course we have the whole paper fight. You know, we have to make sure all the correct documents get from the workers' comp to the doctor and from the doctor to workers' comp and from the doctor and workers' comp to, or not workers' comp, but from the doctor to my employer. And, you know, it's just a crazy, crazy runaround of paperwork. Okay, we still fight it. Um, so as I'm trying to deal with that, as well as with the knowledge that, oh my God, this is here to stay, um, I lose hope. I lose the fact that this is really happening and there's nothing I can do about it. Not a thing. Nothing. Right? So what do I do now? I'm just going to dry this real quick while I'm talking. Just so that I have a... It's funny, this is sunk right down into the paper like a hole. Can you see that? I don't think you can see it. But it has sunk right down in here like it's a hole. Um, so here I am still trying to figure out how I'm going to pay my bills. I have no idea at this point. Yes, I do have workers' comp. No, workers' comp does not pay you enough to pay all your bills. I'm trying to find my gray paint. Bear with me just a second, guys. There it is. Um, this is Dilusions gray paint. It's slate gray. We're just going to play with this paint right now. Um, so it, it's really difficult to try to figure out where you're supposed to, you know, how you're supposed to do all this stuff. How am I going to pay my bills? I worked at this company for 23 years, right? 23 years. And now you're telling me I can't go back to work. You're telling me tough crap, Cindy, deal with it. It's pain. And this is how I'm feeling. I'm like, really? It, it just... It's not right. This isn't right. Um, so here I go into this hole. And if you've never had depression, it's so difficult for you to understand. Because, so, like I said before, so many people think, ah, oh, snap out of it. You know, it's not that bad. You, you know, you, you could have lost a couple limbs or, you know, you could, you could be paralyzed from the waist down or blah, blah. That was another thing that was scaring me. I didn't know um, if having this um, issue was going to threaten my um, ability to move. So, but I found out, no, it won't. It just hurts like hell when I do move. Um, so here you are going through this depression. I have to say, thankful. I am so, 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 so thankful. I have the husband I do because he stood by me in this. And he's he has stood by me from day one. Um... He gets it. He understands because he's been here with me 
so he knows what it is and you know he has the patience of a saint and he just refused to give up on me when I felt at this point I was giving up on myself all right he would not give up on me um, I want to grab a couple stencils but I'm looking for uh, let's see what we got here I'm looking for some border stencil oh, I like that one um, oh, here we go it's even better so you know he he stood next to me through this whole thing and you know he when I'm you know lay in bed bawling because I can't see anything good coming out of where I'm at you know he, he was there and he refused to let go and I'll tell you I like I said I know I'm very very lucky there are many of you out there that don't have that kind of support and I'm telling you I feel I feel so bad for you because that support is essential to getting through this mess um, if you don't have a spouse that will support you you know I hope you have a family or a friend or someone that can you know just be there for you and they really don't have to do anything or say anything that's not what it's about you just need them there to just be and know you're not alone okay um, I have a dear 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 best friend that let me tell you she has been the best friend I've ever had ever and same thing she has stuck with me through this through thick and thin does not expect anything in return um, she's there at any beck and call I mean if I called her up and said you know I don't have any milk is there any way possible I, I just can't get she would do her best to come over here and bring me a gallon well I can't can't lift a gallon of milk anymore so two quarts of milk um, but that's another topic so if you don't have that support like I said I am so so sorry because that support is essential going through this process um, if you don't have the support at home and you want to talk to somebody even just to have somebody to listen I'll be very honest with you I'm here I've been there I know what it's like um, I if you want somebody just to listen and that's it give send me a message I you know I would have much rather I mean I don't even you know even if I don't know you send me a message hey Cindy can you listen and that's all I need to do is just listen um, you know if you ask me how did you do it I will tell you you know exactly what I'm telling you now it's it's difficult there is no easy way out of this it's hard and it's okay you it's it's totally understandable why people go through the depression the way they do especially if they have a chronic pain issue or if they um, um, you know have have suffered some type of a, a pain a chronic pain I get it so this is kind of a difficult conversation to have because when you have depression it's so raw that it's hard to um, I need to find a real dark purple give me just a second here guys maybe I'll do this uh, do I want this is this too red oh, this might work um, let me try this this is a uh, golden crimson hue it might be a little bit too red but we're gonna try it um, if you have someone in your family that's going through this going through the depression just be there just listen hold them um, don't put expectations on them you know I expect you to get up and I want the house cleaned and I want the dinner on the table at five o'clock and I want this that and the other thing um, don't put those on don't put those expectations on this person and the reason I say that is because it gets harder and harder 
the deeper you get into this depression. Um, you feel, you just wake up in the morning and you don't want to be, you don't want to, I'm just going to tell it right out, you don't want to be alive, okay? You don't feel that there is anything left in your heart and soul that is, is worth the effort. All right. Um, it's a very, very difficult disease. I call it a disease because, yes, it is a chemical imbalance. As far as I'm concerned, that's a disease. Okay. You feel just so empty. Okay. So here I am, not very far into this, and I'm dealing with this right here. All right, I've went and had my MRI. I found out I have arthritis in my spine. My spine. I have a herniated disc. There's nothing more he can do. Um, we start doing injections. He says I can't go back to work. All right, this is where I'm at. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of journaling here. First, I'm going to dry this all up a little bit, and I'll be right back. All right, before I do this, I was just looking at it, and I really want this blacker, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I just want it a little bit darker. That gesso is kind of like a matte finish, and I really want the black to stand out because this is this is the feeling. This is the the emotion, this is what's happening. Um, you just feel so helpless and so not with it. I know this is going to take days to dry, but that's okay. I'll just set it aside. But you're in this whirlwind of just this blackness. Like I said, I really don't want to trigger anybody, and I hope I don't. Um, but I, I'm showing you my story, what happened, how I got to where I am today. And it's not always like this, but this is a big part of it. This is a huge part of it. All right. Okay, let me go ahead and get my journaling done. We're going to do that, and I will be right back. All right, so what I did is I decided, um, I actually took my Sumi Black Ink and a fine liner, and this says depression sucks, okay? And I need to let this dry before I can do my journaling on here, so I am going to set this aside and let it dry. So that is chapter eight. I'm not going to go any further into the depression. Um, I hope I've given you an idea of what it feels like, an idea of how to help a person that may be in your life that has depression, and understand that it's not all in their head. It's it's not a an emo, it's not a it's mental, but it's not it's not like they can just snap out of it and be better. It doesn't happen that way. Even when you start the medication for depression, um, I was actually di diagnosed with what they call manic depression, which now is known as, as bipolar, okay? But when they first start the medication, the medication doesn't just click in in three days the same as an antibiotic does, okay? It's, it's a process, and it takes a while to get those chemicals, get the right dose, and get it balanced in your brain so that you feel normal. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to set this aside. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Um, I will tell you my experience. This is what happened. This is how I took, you know, work through it, that sort of thing. But before we go, I'm going to read another excerpt out of this book. And this is You Are Stronger Than You Know, Words of Hope and Encouragement for Someone Living with Chronic Illness. And it's a Blue Mountain Arts collection. Um, and this is what I wish... I would have been told back then, 
okay? It says take a deep breath. Close your eyes, count to 10, and imagine better days. Imagine your life without so many problems. Picture reaching that point of absolute peace. Erase all your thoughts, empty your mind complete, completely. Take a deep breath and know nothing is as bad as it seems. Don't let your current situation trick you into believing that it will be this way forever. As sure as the sun rises, you will have a new day. You just have to be patient and focus, not on what you see, but what you will soon see. Believe that better times will arrive. Believe that you will overcome what seemed at first to be insurmountable. Just take a deep breath. And this is written by Jessica Luckett. Okay. Um, I wish someone had told me that back then. But if you don't know, if you've never been there, you don't know. Okay. So... I don't want to say just live with your depression, but bear with it. It will change, especially if you get some help. Um, if you are the type of person that doesn't want to go to doctors, that sort of stuff, um, I'm, I'm asking you to please reconsider because depression is and can be a killer. So um, please go see somebody, talk to somebody, and find some support around you um, because you need it. Everybody that has this type of, of a mental illness, um, whether it's triggered by a, an issue that happens, an accident in my case, um, that I got this far to the black hole, or if it's just something that you've lived with ever since you can remember, or if you just, you're noticing more and more that um, your thoughts are darker and your feelings are worse okay please get some help it's there's nothing 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 bad about it you need to all right i hope i didn't trigger anybody this week that is not my intent my intent is to show you the journey that i have been on with chronic pain and this is a big one all right as always be kind have fun. That's what life's all about. Even though you go through this crap, it, you do come out on the other end. Um, you know, leave me a comment, thumbs up, share. I would like to get this message to as many people as I can. Um, and I know there's a lot of people in our art community that suffer with chronic pain, with depression, with an illness. So definitely share. All right. And as always, happy creating. We'll see you next time. Bye.